All right, boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to do your practice problems real quick. I think you'll think it's easy. I'm going to see if I can go into presentation mode and still be able to scribble on this. Perhaps. So I wanted to show you two ways of solving 68 minus 16. Um, the first way is what we did yesterday, where you just can start at number 68 and jump back 16 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and you'd land on fifty-two. And it's a good strategy. You have to really be careful about counting your jumps and keeping track. And like me, you might run out of breath at so many jumps. So let's look at another way of doing it too. A second strategy would be to think of this sixteen as a 10 and a 6 or one big jump and six smaller jumps. So if I'm going to start at 68, a big jump would change the 6 and the 10s to a 5 in the 10s column. I'm just going to jump backwards, 1, 10. So 68, take away 10, one big jump lands me on 58. And then six smaller jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, still gets me to 52. So both strategies will work. You can take a big leap and some smaller leaps, or you could just do uh, 16 small jumps. It'll still be accurate. You just, if you're gonna do all small jumps, you just have to count carefully. And then you won't use the scribble tool you will actually just type in these boxes like we always do. All right, good luck today.